Thirst to Cleo, qui existe depuis quand même un petit bout de temps. C'est un groupe qui vient de la région de Boston. C'est leur deuxième album qui s'appelle Wholesale Meats and Fish. Et ils font partie des euh, premières parties ce soir pour Nets Atomic Dustbin. Et j'ai le plaisir de m'entretenir avec euh, Kay et aussi Michael. Welcome to Music Plus. Uh, Hello. Thank you. Microphone, please. Okay. <laughs> Hello. That's it. But that's already a second album. It, it seemed to come quickly. Uh, because your, your first one, the first one well, was actually released, uh, Aurora Gorealis, almost mm -hmm. two years ago, but it became but popular. He, yeah, uh, Here and Now um, hit the airwaves about a little over a year later. So we were in the studio recording that when Here and Now got, really? got added. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 so we just we wanted to release that. OK. Donc, parce que le, le deuxième album arrive quand même assez rapidement. Le premier, Aurora Gorealis, était sorti en octobre 93. Ils étaient déjà... Il a, la chanson Here and Now a, a commencé à être populaire, mais ils étaient déjà en train d'enregistrer de, cet album-là. Donc, ils ont décidé de le sortir quand même. And uh, that song became popular because the show Merrill's Place yeah. played it. So, what, how, what happened? Somebody on the show was a fan of the song? Or? <laughs> That was, uh, it happened very innocently. We were just meeting with a bunch of record labels, um, maybe six months after Aurora Gorealis came out. And uh, one of the labels, Giant Records, who we eventually ended up signing with, was telling us, you know, all the projects they had happening. And one of them was this Melrose Place soundtrack. And they're like, yeah, we have Paul Westerberg and Dinosaur Jr. on it, or Joe mm -hmm. yes. So we were like, can we be on it? Yeah. And they, we, we sent them the song here and now, and they were into it and put it on. And, uh, You know, with all the established stars that were on there, we really thought we'd just sort of be tucked away at the end and nothing come of it. And then we ended up being a single and getting Your song you know, a lot of our the, yeah. the hit, uh, notoriety yeah. from that. <laughs> Donc, en fin de compte, la chanson « Here and Now » a été populaire parce qu'ils ont signé avec la compagnie Giant qui faisait la bande originale de l'émission « Merrill's Place ». Et puis, en fin de compte, ils voyaient qu'avec les groupes qu'il y avait sur cette bande originale « Urge Over Kill »,« Dinosaur Jr. », etc., qui seraient peut-être mis de côté, mais en fin de compte, c'est leur chanson qui a été choisie. Et c'est comme ça que le groupe est devenu euh, populaire. Uh, and you're not scared to confuse fans with, like, two new albums almost at the same time? Uh -huh. A you, little. You could I put a sticker in you and improved or I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it, it does actually say <laughs> okay. new. And improved. Uh, yeah. New album featuring 12 <laughs> new tracks. You know? yeah. It's actually quite different than the first album. It's uh, a bit heavier maybe. More. Yeah. It's um, it's it's just as pop, mm -hmm. but it's just, it's a little, um, I'd say, happier and louder yeah. or something. But there's also some quiet stuff on there too. Aurora was just a kind of subdued Mm -hmm. album i think we didn't have a whole lot of money or time to make it uh -huh. and this being our major label debut um we had all those resources available to us and we got to make the record that we really wanted to make mm -hmm. so. donc c'est un disque qui est définitivement pop comme dit Kay, mais quand même qui brasse un peu plus le premier album a été fait quand même assez rapidement puis là ben, c'était leur premier disque sur une compagnie de disques importante donc ils ont mis le paquet pour euh, ce disque là et c'est euh, un, un très très bon disque que je vous conseille qui a été réalisé par Mike Deenan what has he done Mike Deenan Mike Deenan Deenan yeah He is a, a Boston producer who actually produced our first album. And, uh, you know, our, when we first signed with Giant, they were talking about a bunch of different producers. And we sort of felt that since it was, you know, our first big major label record to be a lot of pressure and attention, we figured we'd rather go with the guy that we knew we worked well with. And uh, we had a little bit of a hard sell on the record company to tell them that, trust me, this guy can make a good album, even though he was not very well established and uh, mm -hmm. they came out and met Mike personally and really liked him and c'est ça, leur réalisateur, pas un nom très, très connu, Mike Denning, mais ils ont insisté auprès de la compagnie de disques. Ils ont d'ailleurs convaincu la compagnie de disques qui était capable de faire un très, très bon disque. Donc, ils ont préféré entrer en studio avec quelqu'un qu'ils connaissaient. On va regarder la chanson, le premier clip qu'on a de ce nouveau disque de Letters to Cleo qui s'appelle Awake et on revient ensuite pour continuer l'entrevue. Clio ils sont au club Soda ce soir. Pas très longtemps, juste une petite demi-heure. Just about 30 minutes on stage tonight. Mm -hmm. 
That's what you play, what? Your songs faster or what? Yes, no? Just... <laughs> microphone? Okay, microphone. Yes. Okay. <laughs> oui. <laughs> I was trying to think of how to say that in French. <laughs> You'd like to learn French? I would love to. Mm -hmm. It's difficult, Perhaps you'll maybe. teach me. Then she, could, then she could read a bottle of wine and no one's... Right. <laughs> Elle aimerait bien apprendre le français quand même. Donc, c'est juste une demi-heure. C'est quand même pas très, très, très long sur, sur scène ce soir. You were mentioning that this album is definitely... Pop. pop. Why are we invaded by pop music? Uh, I like pop music, but it's the, and it's the same situation in England as well mm -hmm. over the last couple of years. I'm I'm I always have been drawn to music that makes me want to sing along to it, and and that's why. Yeah, instead I, of Hanster Zijn de Nobaten, are you familiar with them? With who? Hans oh Zijn yes, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that kind of music, yeah. So pop is yeah. I I want to sing along to stuff and mm -hmm. and that's why I guess I choose the melodies that I do because mm -hmm. they're well they they end up being very sing alongable. And I think you're coming to a point now where um, a lot of the bands that are coming up now either listen to heavy FM rock radio or more pop radio when they were young. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why you have some bands that you know. Pearl Jam out of the sort of Zeppelin school, and then you know your other, you know teenage fan club and other pop bands that come more out of like a Beatles, uh, you know, AM radio kind of thing. C'est ça parce qu'ils font de la musique pop depuis que me dit qu'elle elle aime les chansons dont elle peut se souvenir. Là, le bruit que je faisais tantôt, c'était pour imiter le groupe allemand Anstorzheim Le Batten, qui font de la musique industrielle. C'est pas vraiment leur bac de musique. Puis il dit, euh, euh, Michael disait qu'il y a deux écoles. Il y a le style Pearl Jam, qui ont écouté du Led Zeppelin, ou comme eux autres, qui écoutaient de la radio AM, un peu plus pop. Et c'est quand même... Et il y en a plusieurs groupes pop. That makes a good competition, though, because you have several. So it's more work. Uh, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. I would say. And you're going to play tons of concerts uh, after that? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hope you'll Tour. be back in Montreal for more than a half yes, hour. Yes, we will. So, we promise. Well, thanks for stepping at Music Plus. N'oubliez pas le spectacle, c'est ce soir. C'est au Club Soda. Il y a donc quatre groupes. Ça commence avec Fig Dish, qui vient de sortir un nouvel album. Ensuite de ça, il y aura Letters to Clairo. Sponge aussi, que j'ai interviewé un peu plus tôt. Et en vedette, il y a Ned's Atomic Dustbin. Et on se quitte avec Here and Now, Letters to Clairo.